Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fruttus ventris tui, Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fruttus ventris tui, Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, Nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedita tui mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio e Spiritu e Sancto. Sicutera di principio e nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Laudator Jesus Christus, praised be Jesus Christ. Christ is truly risen. Yes, he is truly risen. 
A warm welcome to all of you joining us for this live broadcast from St. Peter's Square for the Liturgy of Easter, the Mass of the Day, presided over by His Holiness Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square. On behalf of Vatican News, I'd like to welcome all of you joining us for this liturgy from whatever part of the world you're joining us, whatever time of the morning, day, or evening. Welcome to all of you joining us through the various Vatican News channels, through the Vatican News Vatican Radio app, the Vatican News English web portal, our YouTube channel, or our Facebook live feed. Many of you tuning in through television, a warm welcome to those of you tuning in through Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, Uganda Catholic Television, Shalom World Television Networks USA, EWTN, Salt and Light Media, Shalom TV, at Medarshan TV, Sunday Shalom. And to all of our radio listeners out there, some tuning in through Sirius XM Radio, Radio Maria England and Luminous Radio, as well as those of you tuning in through other diocesan or local radio stations picking up the broadcast or our shortwave radio feed. Many more also joining through various internet platforms. No matter how you're joining us, Happy Easter to all of you. I'm Sister Bernadette, and it is a pleasure to provide today's texts and translations for you. Today we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Pope Francis celebrated the Easter Vigil Mass yesterday evening and brought eight people to new life in Christ through the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and the Eucharist. For those of you following in a missal, you can find all of today's texts under Easter Sunday for the Mass during the day. Today's liturgy will be celebrated in Latin, and the Gospel will be proclaimed both in Latin and in the original Greek. Today's ceremony will begin with the proclamation of the Lord's Resurrection and the opening of the panels of the icon not made by hands. Father already before the altar in the presider's chair as the other concelebrants and ministers now process in.
at this moment, I'd also like to welcome many of you joining us through the many more stations, picking us up now through the worldwide telecast. We welcome you to this most solemn celebration of Holy Mass, presided over by Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square as the choir chants the ancient Easter hymn, O Fili et Filiae, O Sons and Daughters. To the side of the altar, we see the icon, not made by human hands. It will be opened by the deacon here. It's a reproduction of a medieval icon. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Exit Dominus de sepulcro, qui pro, pro, pro nobis pependit in ligno. The Lord has risen from the tomb, who for us hung upon the cross. Alleluia. Sur exit Dominus fere. Yes, it is true. The Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Father now putting incense in the thurifer so this icon may be venerated. The icon accompanied on the panels with scenes of the life of Christ with a Petrine text on the resurrection inscribed in Greek. Baptism saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ who has gone into heaven and is at God's right hand. while a Pauline text accompanies the other side. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, but some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me as one born abnormally. Holy Mass will continue now with the, the rite of blessing or sprinkling, commonly used in the season of Easter to remind us of our baptism.
In nome di Padre, del Figlio e del Spirito Santo. Amen. Past voice. Et un spirito tuo. Fratelli e sorelle, la gioia dell'annuncio della resurrezione del Signore giunge a noi dalla veglia pasquale. Brothers and sisters, the Lord's resurrection, proclaimed at the Easter vigil, brings us the joy of new life. Transfigured by the light of the risen Lord and in communion with all Christ's disciples, through the sign of water, let us remember our baptism that we may participate in the Eucharistic feast with newness of life. Father, now sprinkling with water those around him, we too can make the sign of the cross with holy water, should we have holy water in our homes. Dio onnipotente ci purifichi dai peccati e per questa celebrazione May Almighty God cleanse us of our sins and through the celebration of this Eucharist make us worthy to share at the table of his kingdom.
oremos. Deus que odierna die per unigenitum tum, eternitatis nobis aditum de vita morti reserasti. Da nobis quesus, o que resurrecciones domini que son mitad colimus, per innovación en tu espíritus, ilumine vita resurgamos. Per Dominum nostro, Jesum Christum, Filium tuum, qui te convive te reina de unitate Espíritu Santo Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. O God, who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles proclaimed in Spanish. Vosotros conocéis lo que sucedió en toda Judea, comenzando por Galilea, después del bautismo que predicó Juan. Me refiero a Jesús de Nazaret, ungido por Dios con la fuerza. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the evil. Now, I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself, and also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet, three years, three days afterward, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen not only by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now, we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead, and he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone alive or dead. And it is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. Our response today, this day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Questo è il giorno che ha fatto il Signore. Rallegriamoci ed esultiamo. Grazie al Signore perché è buono, il suo amore è per sempre. Dico Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. del Signore si è innalzata, la destra del Signore ha fatto prodezze, non morirò ma resterò in vita e annuncerò le opere. 
the Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. pietra scartata dai costruttori è divenuta la pietra d'angolo questo è stato fatto dal Signore una meraviglia ai nostri occhi the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. Our second reading comes from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians and will be proclaimed in French. Lecture de la première lettre de Saint Paul apôtre aux Corinthiens. Frères, ne savez-vous pas qu'un peu de levain suffit pour que fermente toute la pâte Purifiez-vous donc des vieux ferments You must know how even a small amount of yeast is enough to leaven all the dough. So, get rid of all the old yeast and make yourselves into a completely new batch of bread, unleavened as you are meant to be. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast by getting rid of all the old yeast of evil and wickedness having only the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. And now the ancient sequence for Easter Sunday, the Victime Pasquale will be chanted. Christians, to the Paschal victim offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the Lamb, and Christ, the undefiled, hath sinners to his Father reconciled. Death, with life contended, combat strangely ended, life's own champion slain, yet lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way. The tomb the living did enclose, I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there attesting, shroud with grave clothes resting. Christ, my hope has arisen, he goes, he goes before you into Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show.
deacons who will proclaim the gospel in Latin and in Greek, now receiving their blessing from the Holy Father, the choir having chanted the gospel antiphon, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia. procession now making its way to the ambo we prepare our hearts to hear the proclamation of the Lord's revel resurrection from the Holy Gospel according to st. John Those of you joining on television, we see the procession entering the virtual garden that's been set up here in St. Peter's Square, reminiscent of the garden in which Jesus was buried and rose. Dominus vobisco. Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Joanne. Gloria Divi Domine. The Book of the Gospels now being sensed by the deacon. A reminder Christ is present as we hear his word. Prima uten sabatorum, Maria Magdalene venit mane, cum aduc tenebre esent ad monumentum, et evidet lapidet sublatum a monumentum. Curit ergo et venit ad Simonem Petrum, et ad allium discipulum, it was very early on the first day of the week, and still dark, when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb, and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They've taken away the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they've put him. So Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen cloths lying on the ground, but he did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following, now came up. He went right into the tomb, saw the linen cloths on the ground, and also the cloth that had been over his head. This was not with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. He saw and believed. Till this moment, they had failed to understand the teaching of Scripture that he must rise from the dead.
And now we will hear the Gospel of the Resurrection proclaimed in the original language in Greek. Sophia Ortia Kusumen Tuaio Evangelio Wisdom standing, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Praise to you, O Lord, praise to you. Let us listen. Iran ton kirio nectum nimion, che okida men po ethikan afton. Exil senulo petros che oalos matitis, che ir condo istom nimion. E prehon de idio mu, che oalos matitis proedramen, taxion tu petru che il sem protos. Istomnimion, che paracipsa svlepitimena ta donia, umenti isilsen. Ercete un che Simon Petros a coluzon afto, che isilsen istomnimion, che oferita donia chimena, che to sudarion o in epitis che falis aftu. Umetà to donian chi menon alla choris, ente tiligmenon i sena topon. Tote usisil fen chi o allos matitis, o el thon protos istomnimion, che iden che epistevsen. Ude pogar idi santin grafin, oti de afton ek nekron anastine. Praise to you, O Lord. Praise to you. We've been blessed to hear the gospel in the original Greek. heard the original testimony of our brothers and sisters in the faith, those who have preceded us, who, because of them, we can now listen to this recount, this narrative that was passed down generation after generation and finally written. We now pause along with those in the square, reflecting on the meaning 
of this incredible proclamation that has now reached us. Yesterday evening, our Holy Father encouraged us to go back to our own Galilee where the Lord first met us. For the risen Lord still is alive and working, and he leaves the signs like he left the signs for his disciples. The stone rolled away, the burial cloths lying there, but his body was gone. And we'll be hearing our Holy Father's words later on today during the Orbi et Orbi Easter message. Here we see the Paschal candle which our Holy Father prepared and blessed yesterday evening. A beautiful sign and symbol reminding us of the Lord's presence with us as our light, the one who shatters the darkness our inner darkness, the darkness of death, whatever darkness we may be immersed in. For those of you who may have joined later, we are participating in the Holy Mass presided over by Pope Francis, the Mass during the day for Easter, and you're joining over 45,000 people here in the square. We now continue proclaiming our faith, our faith handed down to us by the apostles, the first witnesses of our Lord's life, death, and resurrection.
Brothers and sisters, filled with paschal hope, let us confidently lift up our prayers to the Father. In Chinese, we pray. Let us pray for God's Holy Church on this holy day may the Christian community boldly proclaim the resurrection of Christ and persevere in hope even in the midst of suffering and death let us pray for the newly baptized in German we pray May those who have received the sacraments of Christian initiation bring the joy of new life to the Church and be faithful witnesses of the Gospel in the world. Let us pray for all peoples. That peace, the gift of the risen one, and the hope of all peoples triumph over war and hatred. And may all nations know a new civilization founded on love. Let us pray for all who are suffering. We pray in Arabic that the sick, the poor, and the lonely may find consolation in celebrating the Paschal Mystery and through fraternal love know the tenderness of God. Let us pray for those who have died. In Italian we pray, may those who have fallen asleep in Christ participate in the joy of the resurrection and one day be united with Christ in glory. Holy Father, who on this day grant us a share in the joy of your Son's resurrection, accept the petitions we bring to you with confidence and increase our faith in the risen Christ, so that we may be his witnesses in the world. Amen. We now move to the Liturgy of the Eucharist. The gifts will be brought forward by four groups of people. We see the ministers now bringing the book and other cloths needed to put on the altar. Those coming up dressed in traditional dress. We bring up these gifts. We present the humble gifts of bread and wine which we have received from the hands of God the Father. We offer them back through the ministry of his priest that they might become the body and blood of Christ. As we enter into the holy sacrifice of the Mass, which allows his salvific death and resurrection to be made present to us in a very special way.
For those of you who may be following in a missal today, the Eucharistic prayer that will be used is Eucharistic Prayer 3. celebrant at the altar cardinal Giovanni Battista Rey, the dean of the College of Cardinals, now offering the gifts at the altar as the choir chants, the earth in terror was still when God arose to judge. Alleluia. Cardinal Ray now sensing the gifts and the altar as we see the concelebrants now approaching with the ciborium of unconsecrated hosts. Preparing the altar on which the unbloody sacrifice of our Lord will now be offered once again. The celebrant now being sensed, a reminder of the special presence of our Lord in his ordained minister. And we, his body also being sensed, first our Holy Father, now on the side of the altar who will continue presiding although as we know he's been having problems with a knee which makes it difficult for him to stand. We now receive this sensing as a reminder that we too participate in offering this sacrifice to God the Father on behalf of the world. Orate fratres, ut meum ac vestrum sacrificium 
accettabile fiat a Pud Deum, Patrem Onnipotentem. Suscipiat Dominus, sacrificium de manibus tuis, ad laudem et gloria al nomi di sui, ad utilitatem quoque nostra, totiusque ecclesie sue sante. Sacrificio Domine, Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your Church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Vere Santus es Domine, et merito te laudat omnis a te condita creatura, quia per filium tuum, Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum, Spiritus Santi operante virtute, vivificas et santificas universa, et populum tibe congregare non desinis, ut a sortus ortu, usque a toc casu, oblatio mundo uferatur nomini tuo. Supplice sergo te domine de precamur, ut ec munera quetibi sacranda de turimus, e oden spiritus santificare dinieris, ut corpus et sanguis fiam, fili tui domini nostri Iesu Christi, cuius mandato ec misteria celebramus. Ipse enim in qua notte tradevatur, accepit panem, et tibi gratia sagens benedixit, fregit dedicque discipulis suis dicens, accipite et manducate ex hoc omnes, hoc est enim corpus meum, quod provovis tradetur.
simili modo post concenatum est, accipiens calicem et tibi gratia sagens benedixit, dedico e discipulis suis dicens, accipite et vivite ex reo omnes, hic est enim calis sanguinis mei, novi et eterni testamenti, qui provovis e promultis e fundetur in remissionem peccatorum, hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Memore sigitur Domine, e iusdem fili tui salutifere passionis, nec nos mirabili resurrezioni te sasenzionis in celum, sete prestolantes alterum eius adventum, offerimus tibi grazias referentes, hoc sacrificium vivum e santum. Respice quesumus in oblazionem ecclesiae tue, ut anosens ostiam, cuius voluisti in molazione placari, concede, ut qui corpore e sanguine fili tui reficimur, spiritus aius santo repleti, unum corpus et unus spiritus inveniamur in Cristo. Ipse nos tivi perficiat munus eternum, ut cum tum electis tuis, ereditatem consequivaleamus, in primis, cum Beatissima Virgine, Dei Genetrice, Maria, cum Beato Iosef, Eius Sponso, cum Beatis Apostolis Tuis et Gloriosis Martiribus, et Omnibus Sanctis, quorum intercessione perpetuo apud Te confidimus adiuvari. Hec hostie nostre reconciliationis proficiat quesumus Domine, ad totius mundi pacem, atque salutem, ecclesiam tuam, pellegrinantem in terra, in fide et caritate firmare digneris, cum famulo tuo Papa nostro Francisco, cum episcopali ordine et universo clero, et omni populo acquisitionis tue, votis huius familia, quam tibi astare voluisti, ad esto propicius, omnes filios tuos, ubique dispersos, tibi clemens pate, miseratus coniunge, fratres nostros defunctus, et omnes, qui tibi placented, ex hoc seclo transierunt, in regnum tum benignus admite, ubi fore speramus, usimul gloria tua, perenite saciemu, per Christum Dominum nostrum, per quem mundo bona conta lageris. Per ipsum et cun ipso et in ipso, estivi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritus Sancti, Omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. We're invited to pray the Lord's Prayer. Et divina istituzione formati audemus dicere.
libera nos que somos domine a bonibus malis, da propitius pacem in diebus nostris, ut ope misericordia tua diuti, et a peccatos simus semper liberi, et a boni perturbazione securi, expectantes beatam spem, et adventum salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. Domine Iesu Christe, qui disisti apostolis tuis, pacem relinquo vovis, pacem meam dovovis, ne respicias peccata nostra, set fidem ecclesie tue, e anque secundum voluntatem tuum pacificaret quadunare dinieris, qui vivis e regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Offerte vobis pace. And we're, off, we're invited to offer the sign of Christ's peace, which we may do with those in whose presence we may find ourselves, and if we're in our cars, even the people on the streets around us. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tollit peccata mundi, beati qui a cena mani vocati sunt. Domine, Domine non sum dignus, ut intre sul tectum meum, se tantum di verbo e sanabito anima mia. And we can repeat, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. distribution of Holy Communion now taking place here in St. Peter's Square as the choir chants the Antiphon Christ is our Passover the Lamb sacrificed therefore let us keep the feast Alleluia
of the faithful still receiving Holy Communion, the square is filled with people also spilling over onto the streets behind. of us who are participating via web, radio, television, however we're picking up this broadcast, we too can ask the risen Lord to come into our own hearts spiritually. We are the Galilee he wants to inhabit, as we heard our Holy Father telling us yesterday evening that we too have a Galilee where Jesus first met with us. And the Holy Father is asking us to remember that place because that's where the risen Lord told his disciples he would meet them again. The place where it all began. That place, that word of God that spoke to us that experience of the Spirit, the joy of forgiveness maybe that we experienced, that moment of prayer or that light that was given to us one day. All of us know where that place of our interior resurrection was, the beginning of our own true faith, the place where everything changed in our lives. The Holy Father asks us to remember that Galilee because that's where the Lord wants to return. He, he asked us to relive that memory, to reconstruct the context, even the time, the place where it happened. Because he said that's where we saw the future. That's where the empty tomb was opened. He also said the Lord is an expert in rolling back the stones of sin and fear, and he illuminates that sacred memory that we may have buried within us. It's a beautiful memory, he said, and the Lord wants us to relive those memories. We see the bands who will soon play the National Anthems of Italy and the Holy See before the Urbi at Orbi, which, take pla which takes place at 12 o'clock noon later, once this liturgy has come to an end. We've been admiring the beautiful floral decorations that have been set up here under the direction of the Garden and Environment Service of the Directorate of Infrastructure and Services of Vatican City State. We now prepare to bring this Holy Mass to a conclusion. Orimus. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the Resurrection. 
and we prepare ourselves to receive the final blessing. Dominum Hobiscum. Inclinate vos ad benedictionem. Benedica vos omnipotens Deus, odierna interveniente. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son endow you with the prize of immortality. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Et benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sanctis, descenda super te, super vos et mani et semper. Amen. Ite misa es, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now we lift up to the Virgin Mary, the Marian Antiphon for the Easter season, the Regina Chaley. The music we've been hearing today provided by the Sistine Chapel Choir under the direction of Monsignor Marcos Pavan as well as the uh, choir under the direction of Monsignor Ramon Ortega Trillo but also the voices of the Venerable English College and the German Hungarian College today. The floral display that we've been enjoying under the direction of floral designer Daniela Canu in collaboration with Dutch florists and Slovenian biotechnology and floristy professors working with her throughout the week to prepare the decorations for Easter Sunday, a veritable garden. This floral tribute began in 1985 with the beatification of Dutch Carmelite Saint Titus Titus Bransma, who was canonized recently, and now it's the 38th year that the flowers donated from the Netherlands. Nearly 38,000 bulbs blooming, tulips, daffodils, pink hyacinths, and muscari showing off their colors and flower beds that we see here. As usual, many yellow and white representing the colors of Vatican City. Uh, flowers also in display, avalanche roses, anthurium, delphinium, and single-flowered Balthazar chrysanthemums and Serenity Purple Spray chrysanthemums, which we've been seeing more than a hundred flowering azaleas and drooping ivies. All of this uh, having come to Rome on Holy Thursday with gardeners working around the clock in order to get all of this set up in time for Easter Sunday. It's tens of thousands of tulips and daffodils covering a total length of 465 meters, an area of 170 square meters. A 
beautiful moment for us to remind ourselves the Lord of King of Heaven and Earth wants us to live in a beautiful garden. As we see our Holy Father now mounting the Pope Mobile, he will be going to greet the members of the faithful right now he is greeting cardinal ernesto simoni 94 year old cardinal who comes from albania with this we will now bring to a close for now the live commentary of the liturgy of easter mass during the day for those following through our web radio broadcast this broadcast will be interrupted and will begin again just before 12 o'clock noon for the easter orbi at orbi message and blessing meanwhile those following the televised broadcast will continue broadcasting these images from St. Peter's Square, so you can continue seeing Pope Francis greeting the crowds here present. He'll be going around through the square with his Pope Mobile. And we'll be back again with live commentary of the Easter or be at or be message and blessing just prior to 12 o'clock noon Rome time. So we'll see you back then.
Laudetur Jesus Christus. Praised be Jesus Christ and a most warm welcome to all of you joining us for the Easter Urbi at Orbi message and blessing taking place at 12 o'clock noon shortly in St. Peter's Square. It's Easter Sunday. Christ is risen. Christ is truly risen. Our Holy Father just finished celebrating Holy Mass, the Mass of the day. To all of these people in St. Peter's Square, he's just finished greeting them, having gone out into the crowds with his Pope Mobile, both those in St. Peter's Square and those flowing out onto the streets. On behalf of Vatican News, I'd like to welcome all of you joining us for this live broadcast of the Orbi at Orbi message and blessing. We know many of you tuning in through our own Vatican News channels, through the Vatican News, Vatican Radio app, the Vatican News English web portal, our YouTube channel, or our Facebook live feed. And to those of you tuning in through television, I'd like to welcome all of you, whether you're tuning in through Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, Uganda Catholic Television, Shalom World Television Networks, EWTN, Salt and Light Media, Shalom TV, At Madarshan TV, or Sunday Shalom. To all of our radio listeners out there, a warm welcome to all of you as well. Some of you tuning in through Sirius XM Radio, Radio Maria England, and Luminous Radio. And to the many more of you joining us through the various local or diocesan radio stations picking up this broadcast, or through various shortwave, our shortwave signal, or various internet platforms. My name is Sister Bernadette, and it's a pleasure for me to provide today's texts and translations for you. We see the beautiful floral decorations here in St. Peter's Square, more than 35,000 flowers and plants from the Netherlands on view in front of the Basilica. The decorations designed and also uh, built uh, by those who work in the Garden and Environment Service of the Directorate of Infrastructure and Services for the Vatican City State under the direction of floral designer Daniela Canu, who also worked with uh, in collaboration with Dutch florists and biotechnology and floristry professors from Slovenia. We see here the Papal Swiss Guard, who will be performing the National Anthem of the Holy See today, as well as the Italian, a band from the Italian Armed Forces. This is the balcony from the first loggia where our Holy Father will come out. the Orbi et Orbi message and blessing given each Easter and Christmas from this central loggia of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, always at noon time and always broadcast now throughout the, the European Broadcasting Union and also a worldwide telecast. from Paul VI on to Benedict, um, after delivering their Orbi at Orbi messages, the popes would also greet different nations and their native languages. This has been discontinued with Pope Francis, but to all of those of you who are joining us today, a reminder that also to you is extended the possibility of receiving the plenary indulgence. those who devoutly receive the blessing that the Pope imparts either in person or through the various means of communication. And we recall that in order to obtain this indulgence for ourselves or for others, 
the conditions are that we receive sacramental confession and Eucharistic communion within 20 days and we pray for the intentions of our Holy Father in addition to being detached from any sort of sin. As usual, there will be two cardinals who will be standing with the Holy Father on the loggia. Today they are Cardinal Mike, James Michael Harvey, the Archpriest of the Papal Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls, and 94-year-old Cardinal Ernest Simoni, a priest of an archdiocese in Albania. The Urbi at Orbi is preceded by military honors offered on the facing the central loggia of the Basad of the Basilica, where there will be a formation of the Pontifical Swiss Guard and a battalion representing the Italian Armed Forces. As we can see, people from all over the world gathered here today, uniting us from east to west and north to south as they joyfully wait for our Holy Father to present himself at the central loggia of the Basilica. Of course, the only time the Orbi at Orbi given throughout the year is Easter and Christmas, but also each Pope, as soon as he is elected, comes to this same balcony that we see here to give his first Orbi et Orbi blessing, which of course means to the city and to the world. The only exception to the giving of the blessing in recent years from this loja was in uh, 2020 when during the height of the pandemic when our Holy Father imparted this blessing in um, an empty St. Peter's Square standing in front of the confession of Peter. So our Holy Father today speaking both in his capacity as universal Vicar of Christ but also as Bishop of Rome and the ritual of this particular papal blessing the Urbi at Orbi developed in the 13th century during the reign of Pope Gregory the Tenth, we see here the, the some of the flowers on display here. There are thousands of tulips and yellow daffodils. Of course, yellow being one of the colors of the Holy See. Thirty-eight thousand bulbs blooming in long rows along the altar. There are also blue and pink hyacinths and blue muscari, but there's also avalanche roses. You may see some of those today. Anthurium, delphinium, the purple stems of single flowered Balthazar chrysanthemums and spray chrysanthemums. We now see the ministers begin the procession out onto the loggia here as the Urbi at Orbi ceremony begins. Our Holy Father now watching from above into the square below greeting everyone who's there. We will now hear the the bands performing the respective national anthems of Italy and the Holy See. And after
after this fanfare. National Anthem of Italy now being performed. Italian Anthem also called Mameli by the Risorgimento poet Goffredo Mameli, who in November 1848 wrote the Canto degli Italiani, which was immediately printed and set to music by the Maestro Novaro and became the national anthem of the Italian Republic in 1946. Cari fratelli e sorelle, Cristo è risorto. Dear brothers and sisters, Christ is risen. On this day we proclaim that he, the Lord of our life, is the resurrection and the life of the world. Today is, Pas is Easter, the Pasch, a word that means passage, for in Jesus the decisive passage of humanity has been made, the passage from death to life, from sin to grace, from fear to confidence, from desolation to communion. He is the Lord of time and history. I'd like to say to everyone with heartfelt joy, Happy Easter to everyone. People responding to the Holy Father who is seated today. May this Easter be for each of you, dear brothers and sisters, and in particular for the sick and the poor, the elderly, and those experiencing moments of trial and weariness, a passage from affliction to consolation. We are not alone. Jesus, the living one, is with us forever. Let the world and the earth rejoice, for today our hopes no longer come up against the wall of death, because the Lord has built us a bridge to life. Yes, brothers and sisters, at Easter the destiny of the world was changed, and on this day, which also coincides with the most probable date of Christ's resurrection, we can rejoice to celebrate, by pure grace, the most important and beautiful day of history. Christ is risen. He is truly risen in this traditional proclamation of the churches of the East. The word truly reminds us that our hope is not an illusion, but the truth, and that in the wake of Easter, Humanity's journey, now marked by hope, advances all the more readily and, or hastily. The first witnesses of the resurrection show this by their example. The Gospel speaks of the haste with which on the morning of Easter the women ran to tell the disciples. And after Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter, while John and Peter himself then ran together to the place where Jesus had been buried. And later, on the evening of Easter, after meeting the risen Lord on the road to Emmaus, two disciples set out without delay and hastily traveled several miles uphill and in the dark spurred on by the irrepressible joy of Easter that burned in their hearts, the same joy that led Peter on the shore of the Lake of Galilee after catching sight of the risen Jesus to leave the boat with the others, threw himself immediately into the water and swam quickly towards him. At Easter then, the journey quickens and becomes a race. Since humanity now sees the goal of its journey, the meaning of its destiny, Jesus Christ, and is called to make haste to meet him who is the hope of the world. 
May we too make haste to progress on a journey of reciprocal trust, trust among individuals, peoples, and nations. May we allow ourselves to experience amazement at the joyful proclamation of Easter, at the light that illumines the darkness and the gloom in which all too often our world finds itself enveloped. Let us make haste to surmount our conflicts and divisions and to open our hearts to those in greatest need. Let us hasten to pursue paths of peace and fraternity. Let us rejoice at the concrete signs of hope that reach us from so many countries, beginning with those who offer assistance and welcome to all fleeing from war and poverty. At the same time along this journey, we also encounter many stumbling stones, which make it more difficult and demanding to hasten towards the risen Lord. To him, then, we make our prayer. Lord, help us to run to meet you. Help us to open our hearts. Help the beloved Ukrainian people on their journey towards peace and shed the light of Easter upon the people of Russia. Comfort the wounded and all those who have lost their loved ones because of the war and grant that prisoners may return safe and sound to their families. Open the hearts of the entire international community to strive to end this war and all conflicts and bloodshed in our world, beginning with Syria, which still awaits peace. Strengthen all those affected by the violent earthquake in Turkey and in Syria itself. Let us pray for all those who have lost family and friends and those who were left homeless. May they receive consolation from God and assistance from the family of nations. On this day, Lord, we entrust to you the city of Jerusalem, the first witness of your resurrection. May there be a resumption of dialogue in a climate of trust and reciprocal respect between Israelis and Palestinians so that peace may reign in the holy city and in the entire region. Lord, aid Lebanon, which still seeks stability and unity so that divisions may be overcome and all citizens cooperate for the common good of the country. Be mindful of the beloved people of Tunisia, and in particular the young and those suffering from social and economic hardship, so that they may not lose hope and may work together to build a future of peace and fraternity. Turn your gaze on Haiti which has long experienced a grave social, economic, and humanitarian crisis and support the efforts of political actors and the international community to seek a definitive solution to the many problems that afflict that sorely tried people. Consolidate the processes of peace and reconciliation undertaken in Ethiopia and in South Sudan and grant an end to violence in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Sustain, Lord, the Christian communities that today celebrate Easter in particular circumstances as in Nicaragua and Eritrea and remember all those who are prevented from freely and publicly professing their faith. Grant consolation to victims of international terrorism, especially in Burkina Faso, Mali, Mozambique, and Nigeria. Help, Lord Myanmar. Help Myanmar to pursue paths of peace and enlighten the hearts of leaders so that the deeply afflicted Rohingya may encounter justice. 
comfort refugees, deportees, political prisoners and migrants, especially those who are most vulnerable, as well as the victims of hunger, poverty, and the dire effects of the drug trade, human trafficking, and all other forms of slavery. Lord, inspire the leaders of nations to ensure that no man or woman may encounter discrimination or be violated in his or her dignity, that in full respect for human rights and democracy, these social wounds may be healed, and that the common good of the citizenry may be pursued always and solely and that security and the conditions needed for dialogue and peaceful coexistence may be guaranteed. Brothers and sisters, our Holy Father has now risen to his feet. May we rediscover the enjoyment of the journey, quicken the heartbeat of hope, and experience a foretaste of the beauty of heaven. Today, let us summon the energy to advance in goodness towards goodness itself, which never disappoints. If, as one of the ancient fathers once wrote, the greatest sin is not to believe in the power of the resurrection, today, let us believe and profess Christ is truly risen from the dead. We believe in you, Lord Jesus. We believe that with you, hope is reborn and the journey continues. May you, the Lord of life, encourage us on our journey and repeat to us as you did to the disciples on the evening of Easter, peace be with you. Three times repeating, peace be with you. We will now Santo Padre Francesco, a tutti fedeli presenti e a quelli che His Holiness Pope Francis grants a plenary indulgence in the form laid down by the Church to all the faithful present and to those who receive his blessing by radio, television, and the new communication media. Let us ask Almighty God to grant the Pope many years as leader of the Church and peace and unity to the Church throughout the world, announced by Cardinal James Michael Harvey, Archpriest of the Papal Basilica of St. Paul outside the wall. We now prepare ourselves to receive this blessing along with the indulgence. May the holy apostles Peter and Paul, in whose power and authority we trust, intercede for us before the Lord. Through the prayers and merits of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, St. Michael the Archangel, St. John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, and all the saints, may Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive all your sins, and may Jesus Christ bring you to life everlasting. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant you indulgence, absolution, and the remission of all your sins, a season of true and fruitful penance, a well-disposed heart, amendment of life, the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit, and final perseverance in good works. Amen. And now the blessing itself. Et benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos, et maniat semper. Amen. And the crowds, thousands upon thousands, reacting to having received the Holy Father's blessing, who stays looking down from the loggia above. 
We see here again the members of the Pontifical Swiss Guard. And again here we see the beautiful roses and anthurium decorating the loggia here. And with these images we end the live broadcast of the Orbi et Orbi message and blessing for Easter. We invite you to visit the Vatican News web portal, our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube accounts. You'll find a live or you'll find playback of all of the liturgies from this past week on our YouTube account. You'll find photos. You'll also find summaries of the Pope's homilies delivered these days. On behalf of Vatican Media, I'd like to thank our in-studio audio technician, Patrizio Ciprari, and Alessandro De Carolis, our audio coordinator, as well as all of our media partners, Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, Uganda Catholic Television, Shalom World Television Networks USA, EWTN Salt and Light Media, Shalom TV, at Madarshan TV, Sunday Shalom, Sirius XM Radio, Radio Maria England, Luminous Radio, and all the channels who've picked up this worldwide telecast for this Easter Orbi at Orbi message and blessing. On behalf of Vatican Media, I wish all of you a most blessed and holy Easter. Christ is risen. He is truly risen. Laudetur Jesus Christus. Praised be Jesus Christ. <laughs>